Hello, coming up, all you need to know is we've been talking to Zac Efron. Don't go anywhere. First at five, how would you like to see Sean Penn, Benicio Del Toro and Jim Carrey all at once in one Hollywood A-lister crammed movie? Sounds good, huh? Well, it could happen. Apparently, they're all being lined up for the Three Stooges. Jim is apparently so up for playing the chubby one, Curly. He's getting ready to put on 40 pounds. That's like three stone. That's a whole lot of junk food right there. In at four, she loves her tattoos, does Rihanna, and she's got a new one. Although we're a little bit worried about how this one will be received. The singer's got a gun etched under her right arm on her ribs. Her tattoo artist says she chose the design because she kicks ass. At three, is Reese Witherspoon a domestic goddess? It's the question I know you're all dying to find out the answer to. Well, I'm pleased to oblige. Now, Reese, I was thinking about you this morning at 6 a.m. Don't be alarmed. Okay. I was um, uh, de-icing de my car. It was very cold. And I was thinking to myself, how famous do you need to be before you can get someone to de-ice your car? <laughs> Reese Witherspoon, do you de-ice your own car? Well, you know what? That's what happens. You get famous, you move to Hollywood. We don't have ice. It's just, you know, sunny all the time. What's the one chore that you absolutely hate that you, you I could get someone to I hate doing do? the dishes. I hate it. I still do them every day of my life, but it's like, I just, I cannot stand doing the dishes. It drives me nuts. I'll vacuum all day long. I will do laundry, but it makes me nuts. At number two, ever since they got back together in 2005, Take That have been asked everywhere they go when Robbie will rejoin the band. Well, the Robster may have answered that very question. Apparently, he's ready, up for it, and says it could happen within the year. And finally, at one, you'd think Zac Efron would be used to the screaming girls. It kind of happens everywhere he goes. But at the premiere last night of his new flick, 17 Again, he confided in us that actually, it scares the life out of him. I can't get, I'm incredibly nervous right now. It's crazy. But, you know, a lot of guys can't say that. They have so many fans that they would show up to every premiere. I've, I've been very lucky so far. There's been loads of stuff in the news this week with the whole Footloose thing and rumours about his next project. So, here he is to set the record straight. And now, you Footloose, what have you Uh, you know what? It was nothing against the project. I think Footloose will make a fantastic movie, but I'm looking for a new challenge. I had so much fun doing 17 again, and I think that's the direction that I want to head. Do you know what is coming next then? Uh, working on a couple of things. Maybe Charlie St. Cloud with Ghost Ears. Oh.